I am going to give myself a facial, a basic at home facial. I'm gonna start off with wrapping a towel around my head just because when I was in school, that's what we had to do. And I'm gonna to try to make this as spa feeling like. All right, so up like this and up like that. <laughs> you know, sometimes when your funds are hurting your pocket, or if you just kind of want to do it yourself, especially if you know how. I know Cosmos that do their own hair, nail techs that paint their own nails. So hey, if I'm a licensed esthetician, I could give myself my own facials, right? <laughs> the most important part of a facial is the steam. Unfortunately, I don't have a steamer here that can open my pores up and release the toxins out. That's the only thing that you will probably need if you are wanting to give yourself a basic facial at home. But I just want to put that out there just because I, I don't have a steamer or a towel cleaner. So unfortunately, I just have to use super hot water and that works just as fine. So I'm going to start off with kind of giving my face a nice spritz. For the sake of the video, I'm going to try to leave my brows on because I don't have brows, okay? <laughs> uh, but take your pre-cleanse. This is, I'm using all Dermalogica products and um, put just a little tiny, a little dime size amount. You just kind of gently use your ring finger and just, this pre-cleanse is a miracle. This stuff is worth it. I would definitely recommend this. <sighs> Oh my god! That was pre-cleanse, so next you're going to want to take your next cleanser. There's several different kinds of cleansers. This facial is for oily skin. I am super oily. So for the cleanser that I'm going to use today is the Special Cleansing Gel. Excuse my name, in school we had to write our names on all of our products. So I'm just gonna give myself a, a nice dime-sized pump of that and apply the cleanser. I wish I had spa music in here so I could pretend like I'm at the spa. And just give yourself a nice cleanse. So for the next step is your exfoliant. Uh, I have a daily exfoliant right here. This is called the Daily Microfoliant. This is really cool and I will show you how this works. Fortunately, I don't have a little cup or a small little glass bowl that we normally used in school. I have a shot glass here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply just a little. You don't need a lot at all. I'm using my school kit that I got, and these are the brushes. And so I'm using a fan brush. You can probably use a highlighter brush if you're gonna try this, or just find something that is um, pretty dense because you have to whip this up like egg yolk. Take your fan brush and whip it up. When it gets into this consistency, this is how you know you've done it right. You flip it over like a Dairy Queen. This brush came with the kit, it's the exfoliating brush, and you can actually use this to clean, but I'm just gonna use my fingers. Even though it is a gentle exfoliant, you just don't wanna spend too much time on the exfoliation process. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do, if you don't have a towel warmer, you're gonna to wanna get a towel, a pretty good sized towel, and roll it up, fold it in half, and then stick your hand in between it like this and then just press it on your face this really helps 
open up all your pores and get all those toxins out. Next would be your massage. So uh, I obviously am not gonna sit there and massage my face, but a few types of massages that I like to do, like here, along here, and then along here, move nasal, and then you can go like this. Go like this. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is apply this product to my face with one of my fan brushes. Ooh, this feels so good. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I will be with it. Okay, I'm back and dry. I'm going to take these sponges and then I'm just going to hold it on my skin before I put the towel around because you're going to apply your towel next. I'm just making it a little easier for me or making it easier for my towel. What do I do? We're almost done, guys. The mask is one of the last things. The cool thing about facials is you can get different types of um, facials. I used to give high frequency facials and do moisture pushes, and um, those were awesome. Okay, so we have our skin feeling nice. You want to definitely make sure that all of the product has been removed because if it's not, it is going to irritate you or your client's skin. So you do, that is like the number one thing. Make sure that you fill the face. If you don't feel that it's removed, go back again. Who cares? Mmm. That feels so good. I feel so sexy, clean. <laughs> Apply your toner. This is the multi-active toner. I'm not gonna lie, this part was the uh, number one thing that I always forgot to do. Followed by that, take your moisturizer. This is the active moist. Apply to the face. Yes. <laughs> then the most important step is your SPF, and this is Solar Defense Booster, SPF 50. I like to focus this more where the sun hits, so right here, 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 and then SPF is the number one product that I will always use on my face. Oh, yes. And I kept some of my brows on, girl. I've completed the basic facial at home. So we just saved um, a couple hundred bucks, you know what I'm saying? Facials are so expensive and I know the steps and I know how. I do it at home. But that doesn't mean that I will take a gift certificate to get my facial done. Take my towel off. Okay, and there you have it. All right, and there you have the most basic facial, easiest facial at home. And I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys learn. I will try to insert steps of the way that I was trained by Dermalogica of a facial. Uh, if you do try it, uh, leave a comment below letting me know if you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and please subscribe and support me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, my attitude totally changed. My confidence changed. Us women don't give ourselves enough credit. We work hard and if we don't have like an actual 9 to 5 job, we're still working. Don't ever let a man tell you that if you're not working a 9 to 5 job that you are not a working person because you are. You're constantly working. We're queens. We deserve to be pampered. If you can't go out and get pampered, pamper yourself at home.
I painted my nails myself. I mean, there's things that you can do at home and for yourself. Us women deserve it. Be clean. And don't you 